Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters. Although my oldest is grown and out of the house, my middle daughter is a college student away at school and then I have my youngest that lives here with me in our home. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I think this is my favorite video to do every month, not every month, when I'm blessed with this income. So I am cash stuffing the income for my YouTube paycheck. Google AdSense pays once a month and we get a good idea um, or we get exactly how much uh, is put into the Google AdSense account earlier in the month. So I did something different this month with the payment. If you watched my previous cash stuffing, I did talk about I only had half of my half of my mortgage payment. Um, so a quarter of it when I usually put half of it in there. But this month I am using that for the time being until I get that payment in my account and then I will put it in for my mortgage. I hope that makes sense. I decided to do that just to add a little bit more to the wedding binders. Um, because it is so close to the wedding, I am bulk filming, filming this way before, beforehand, but so I am using a quarter of my mortgage payment, which is crazy to think about a quarter of my mortgage payment is what I earned thanks to you guys watching my videos, playing my ads, uh, letting the video play all the way through. If you have YouTube premium, I appreciate you all so very much. So how much do we have? What is a quarter of my mortgage payment? So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 420, 430, 440, 450, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500, 510, 15, and 16. So thanks to you guys, I earned $516 on YouTube uh, for the month of September. So this is the payment in October um, that will pay out uh, around this date. So I am, like I said, pre-recording, bulk filming, and I decided instead of um, waiting until I get that payment, I'm going to go ahead and use the money. Um, and once that amount hits my account i will take that this 516 back out and put it in my mortgage envelope for my mortgage i hope that makes sense um it's very different for me to do it this way but i am pretty confident that money is going to come through like i said google adsense is pretty good about telling you um exactly how much uh i will make for the previous month so thank you thank you thank you all so very much i would not be uh, able to do this without you watching and like I said uh, before I just I'm so grateful so as always we're going to start with my YouTube binder and this binder only comes out once a month when I have my YouTube cash stuffing oh the 100 right away I am going to take 100 of it and put it towards debt um, I have not made much progress uh, progress on my credit cards uh, since uh, the wedding and everything but this is going towards my debt, so we aren't even going to cash stuff that. I'm going to put that aside. All right, so we are going to start with taxes. So we had 516. I didn't really, I usually have a better idea of how I'm going to do this, but we have 100, 200, 300, 400. Um, 516, so we have four, six. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do 16. I'm going to do 66 dollars. 20, 40, 60, 5, 66. Yeah, I'm gonna do $66 for taxes. 20, 40, 65, 66 dollars for taxes. And I'm really hoping I won't need this money um, when I do my taxes, but I have it in case I do. So I do have at least another hundred I can put in the high yield savings. But right now we have 100, 200, 300, 400 in the high yield savings. 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 55, 57, 58, 59. So $559 for taxes. So I will probably put another 100 into the high yield savings. We'll have 500 in there, which is, would be really awesome. All right, moving on to giveaways. Are these open? Oh. Giveaways, I'm going to add another $20 to. So we have $20, 40 $60 for giveaways, which is great. 
I don't know when my giveaway will be, but I'll definitely have one thanks to reaching 6,000 subscribers. So thank you so very much. And moving on to equipment. I think I'm, equipment, I'm going to add $20 as well. We have $20, $40, $60, $70 for equipment. This is for things like my ring light. Maybe one day I'll get a camera if this upper builds up. <laughs> All right, moving on to P.O. Box. P.O. Box gets $20, 20 40 $60 for P.O. Box. And supplies. Supplies, I think I'll do $20 as well. So we have $30. This is for like when I order envelopes or uh, challenges, things like that. And finally, this is for Pixar and all the different subscriptions I subscribe to. It needs 35. I decided 35 a month. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 75 dollars. And Pixar will actually be due at the end of February, so I need to have at least 56 dollars kept in there by then. So I want to make sure that I don't um, forget about that coming. All right, that's it for my YouTube binder. Okay, next I'm going to go to a couple categories here in my revolving binder. I want to add some to Costco. So let's see, Costco has, what does it have in here? It has 130. I'm going to add 20 to it. So Costco now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 45, 50. 150 dollars for Costco. So that is awesome. And then the other one I want to add to is self-care. I know I have enough to go when I go get my nails done, but I want to build it up for next time I go. So we have 20, 40, 60, 75, 77, 79, 80 dollars. So that is awesome. So that's all we're going to do in this binder. And my dated binder. There's only one envelope in here, and this will definitely be the last cut cash stuffing of this because as you're seeing this, the wedding has already passed, which is crazy. But I wanted to get it to 500 so we're going to add $50 to it. So we'll go 20 40 $50. So for a wedding, we have 100 in the high yield savings. 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 500 dollars. So this is the gift I will give to my daughter and my son-in-law. That's all I wanted to do in this binder. All right, I want to do a couple envelopes in my long term i do want to add ten dollars to swim team and swim team i think only has 10 but that's awesome we now have 20 in here so we have 5 10 15 20 dollars for swim team we're going to add 10 to car maintenance because that is always needed 5 10 so car maintenance now has 20, 40, 65, 75, 82, 84, 85 dollars in car maintenance. And the vet envelope will also get we'll we'll do ten dollars also in the vet envelope. Five ten. So vet now has 100, 20, 40, 65, 75, 80. 180 dollars in the vet envelope. And that's it for this binder. And how exciting the rest of the money is gonna go into my travel binder so we can bring this money with us to the wedding. So I am gonna go back here to attire because I still owe $45 for the alterations of my daughter's dresses. And we only have 10 in here. So we need 35, 20, 30, five now we have the rest and then a tire should be done so we have 20 35 45 45 dollars um i'm filming this like i said way earlier um so i haven't picked up their dresses yet so this 45 will be the last payment and that will be taken care of so what do we have left we have 20 40 60 65 70 75 80 dollars so there's a couple categories let's see um so travel 
has 80. We're going to add a 20. Now it's an even 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in travel in general. And this was used, um, we had plenty more in here, but this was used to pay for our, our Airbnb. So that is, our lodging is paid for. So this is just any expenses that come up. Um, spending, we will also add two. Spending has two, 270. Yeah, 20, 40, 5, 55, 6. <laughs> you know what spending um, spending will add 10 5 10 all right so spending has 100 200 20 40 60 75 80 280 dollars in spending money and i know we are having a game i don't know if you guys know left right center with 20 dollar bills while we're there so I will definitely be spending $60 off the bat. I already know. So um, maybe I should put more in there, but uh, that's all right. And then beauty, um, like I said in another video, that um, I will be paying for my daughters to get their nails done. So hopefully this should be enough. We're going to add $10 to that. So we have 100, 200, 25, 35, 45, 245. I think that should be enough to get them their uh their nails done i'm hoping and that's all that will be used for miscellaneous is fully funded gas is fully funded oh food yes definitely need to add to food so we have 270 oh i want to add 30 to it so i'm going to put 10 back and take the 40 so we'll be at 300 for food so 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 300 so 300 for food i think that should be sufficient i'm very hopeful um let's see so we have 300 for food i'm gonna put the the last ten dollars tips is done okay attire is good tips is done food is done or not done food's good yes it's done miscellaneous is done beauty should be good you know what i'm gonna put this last ten dollars in spending i guess so spending now has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 90. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 90. So 290. And I am going to switch out this old 100. I think there's another one in here somewhere before we leave um, and put a one of these newer ones. I am going to try and save this. This is from 2006, so it's not that old, and it does have this mark on there, but I do like trying to save those older bills, so we'll see if I can do it, but 290, right? 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 5, 90, 290 dollars. In spending money, we have 100. In travel money, 290, so that's 390. Beauty is good. Miscellaneous, another 100. Gas has 250. Food, what did I say food had? I think we just added 20 to it. It has 290 or 300, I think, right? 300 in food, 100 in tips, and a tire should be good to go. Hopefully, I'm good to go. Um, I do have also coins that I never um, turned in. It's, what, it's over $100 in coins that I was going to cash in for this trip, but I decided I think we're going to be okay. Um, like I, I've said before, if need be, there are other funds I can move money from if I need to while we're there and I can replenish with uh, when I come back. So I hope that all makes sense. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope it wasn't too confusing about where the money is coming from and how I am managing to do this. When I get that income put into my account on the 21st or later, whenever they put it into my account, I will just uh, take that money and put it into my mortgage envelope. Amazing to think that my YouTube income is a quarter of my mortgage escrow HOA home insurance. That's all one bill, um, but it's a quarter of it. And that is amazing if I could maybe, I just don't know how to thank you guys enough. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for getting me to 6K. And I can't wait to get back and show you guys some pictures. I do plan to show you guys some pictures um, in one of my videos once I get back and we get back um, on track with things. So I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care. Have a blessed day.